Well, life throws challenges and setbacks at us every day, but sometimes it can be hard to manage all the changes, the stress, and the emotions of it all. Yeah, that's right. And one thing that can really help people cope is the ability to learn how to bounce back. Psychologist Jennifer Harstein joins us now. Uh, Dr. Jen, I find this really interesting because I don't think a lot of people understand that this is like a knowable thing. This yes. is something you can practice and do. How do we practice and do this? It's a really important question. And there's a lot of things we want to think about. What is it we want to lean into, right? So I think some of it is identifying what are you interested interested in? What do you want to improve on? How do you identify yourself, right? We all kind of put ourselves in different roles. Where's a, maybe a role or a value we're missing that we want to increase our attending, mm -hmm. our attendance to? And all of those things help us build this sense of confidence and stability and balance, which is really what we need in order to be resilient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, help people understand what it means to be able to bounce back and to be resilient. And it's something you actually can learn and practice. It's not something you're necessarily born with. Right. Well, some people are kind of naturally resilient, right? But there is is the thing that resilience isn't. It isn't this sense of just like, just be strong and just mm -hmm. be positive, right? That's all toxic and it doesn't help us. But the way we can learn to do it is to practice, to create a community that builds us up, to find people that we can lean into that can help us because we know that resilience helps protect us from being depressed, being anxious, and really kind of losing ourselves in times of, of uh, real intensity. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between resilience and toughness? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a great question. So we can be tough and resilient, right? But being tough is like, I'm going to white knuckle this, mm. I'm going to push through it, and then I might be burnt out and collapse and kind of maybe have a traumatic experience on the other end, mm -hmm. whereas resilience is about coping strategy, mm. stress management, navigating the situation, and sometimes that might mean pulling yourself out of the situation entirely, and that's the way you build some resilience. Mm. You know, how much does it matter that you have a sense of purpose, that you feel like you matter? How does that help strengthen your mental resilience? It's really important, because if I have no kind of roadmap or pathway, I'm just kind of adrift at sea, right? So having a sense of purpose, what am I trying to accomplish? Where do I want to go? Where do I want to take this for myself? Really helps build that resilience because now I have something I'm working yeah. towards and it gives me direction. Mm -hmm. you're, you're working towards something instead of running from something. Right, right? or just being lost in, in the ether and sometimes we need just to unmoored. stand in it yeah. and that's okay. But then where are we going to go from that? And that's having that support said, yeah. matters so much, that community. Absolutely. All right. Psychologist Dr. Jennifer Hartstein, thank you so much. Great to see you. Thanks, Dr. Jen. And Stay right here. You are watching NBC News.